David Laws, um, somebody said there that um, it was uh, a chance for um, Nick Clay to cosy up to Brown and also the gentleman there said he had nothing to lose. Yeah, it he, was an easy hit for him. Nick said he wasn't cosying up. He was criticising both of the old parties. And I thought, uh, I'm not pretending that I'm neutral in this as a Liberal Democrat, but I thought that Nick won by a mile and the polls that we've seen afterwards confirmed that. And I thought... Looking at the other two leaders, I thought Gordon Brown uh, performed much as I expected. He wasn't particularly spectacular. He found it very difficult to be the man arguing for change. After all, the government's been in power for 13 years. Very difficult for him to be seen as the solution to these problems. But I think there was one big loser tonight, and that one big loser was David Cameron. People know that he's a slick salesman. They know that he's a good communicator. They wanted to find out whether there was anything inside that, whether there was any substance. And I think the reason he's polled so badly tonight is that on some of the key issues, he was so weak. And the one that struck me particularly was the economy. There was this big issue, the big challenge, how are we going to deal with the deficit? And what did David Cameron come up with? There was a police Lexus car that he'd heard had been ordered that he was going to cancel. Uh, he was going to cut up the credit cards of civil servants. The kind of lightweight, frankly, last resort of the desperate politician that you're going to cut bureaucracy and waste. And when Nick scored was in taking on the big hard decisions that confront this country. And it reminded me that on the big issues that has confronted David Cameron since he became an MP, Iraq and what to do when the world recession, the world crisis, financial crisis hit us, David Cameron has got both of those judgments wrong.